Cleveland St. Ignatius beat Pickerington Central 34-13 on Saturday night at Canton's Fawcett Stadium in an Ohio High School Athletic Association Division I final. Eric Williams, a transfer in from Oregon, threw for two touchdowns and 237 yards to lead St. Ignatius to their 11th title overall. It was an abnormally easy win considering that Pickerington Central is regarded as the most physically talented team in the state by most college recruiters. It was a surprising and thrilling evening and we brought it to you free here at MVPHD because we think you deserve the very, very best. On behalf of our 800 member high schools, we would like to present the Division I trophy for football in 2011 to Chuck Kyle and the Wildcats from San Ignatius High School. You're trying to make up this. My name is Alex Sater, and of course I'm your host. And after the game, I had the good fortune of running into Mr. Tim Longevin at midfield. St. Ignatius soundly defeated Pickerington Central 34-13 in the D1 title game Saturday night at Canton Fawcett Stadium. The Wildcats improved to 61-12 and all time in the playoffs with their 11th state title. And despite the lofty credentials, Iggy has been playing in obscurity this season. They were below the radar most of the time, especially since the week three loss to Mentor. But the Wildcats steadily improved and peaked at the right moment. And a big part of that was their quarterback, Eric Williams. This kid's a transfer from Portland, Oregon's Jesuit High School. And just to think, a year ago, he led that team to a state semifinal loss. But this year, he got redemption. Uh, Williams was 19-31 for 297 yards and two touchdowns, and he was only sacked one time by Pick was, or by Pickerington Central's vaunted defense. But I think the difference maker was senior running back Timothy McVay. The dynamite back logged 107 determined yards on 24 carries and two touchdowns to keep their drives going. And a very explosive little runner. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boom! <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, St. Ignatius led this game from start to finish. You know, Pick Central kept it close. But they got it down to 20 to 13 at the break. That's when uh, Seb Smith made that spectacular 75-yard catch from quarterback Nick Jensen Clagg to narrow the gap. Uh, but overall, the Central running game just totally shut down. They, they gained 22 yards on 25 carries. Um, Clay had a nice game. He was 21 of 38 for 280 yards, two touchdowns. But he was sacked three times and did have the one pick. Sebastian Smith had four passes for 141 yards. And the receiver for St. Ignatius, Connor Hennessy, he had four catches for 103 yards. But the difference maker was Pick Central's inability to, to get any sustained rhythm on offense. You know, they had three turnovers. The quarterback was sacked three times. They had nine penalties for 60 yards. Uh, they only converted five of 13 third downs. They, they were just out of sync. And it's hard to get any momentum going when you're out of sync like that and, and just credit the uh, St. Ignatius defense. Um, you know, Coach Chuck Kyle now is like 287, 67 and 1 overall record. He's just phenomenal job he's done with that program. And he talked a little bit in the post game about how it was pretty good that 
you know, since they missed the playoffs for the first time in like 23 years last year, uh, a lot of people weren't taking this team seriously. They were kind of the underdogs, and uh, they didn't mind that role at all. They went to the pass. I mean, it was unbelievable. And so, uh, you know, in preparation, we had to adjust a little bit that that second quarter, it's like they didn't hardly even run the ball. They are spreading us out with good athletes and throwing the ball. So the defense did a great job at halftime making those adjustments. And the offense, it was our job, offense, to, to score some more points, right? Let's not let the defense out there hanging because it certainly is a lot easier when you're a couple scores up, you know, and, and, and you can take a few more chances. So uh, defense, unbelievable. We, had, we, were, we were out there making coverage and putting some pressure on the quarterback, and that was important. What about your offense jumping out to a 20 nothing uh, lead to start the game? <laughs> well, you that was I was I was we were definitely surprised. We got some field position, you know. We we put the touchdown in pretty early, then we got you know we got a couple of field goals because I mean Tim Shank's been just money for us all year, and, and, and we're fine, you know. We'll take the points at that early in the game. Take all the points you can get. We got up 20 to nothing, and, and you know we're thinking, okay, we got this thing going, and and, and give. Pickerington, all the credit in the world. They changed the momentum there. They just changed the momentum that second quarter and uh, with some big plays and, and uh, they kept, kept their poise and they deserve a lot of credit. We went in halftime and we didn't have the momentum. And so we had to get back over there and talk. And you found yourselves to me tonight as one of the two top teams in Division One in the state of Ohio. You've had a great You played hard, you played with class, and I know that your fans, the purple and white of Pickerington Central High School, are very, very proud of you. On behalf of our Board of Control, and our staff, and our 800 member high schools, we would like to present to the Tigers of Pickerington Central High School, the state runner-up trophy for 2011 to the Tigers of Central High School. We had a hell of a season starting off 0-2. I mean, I mean, you can't get no better than that. Everybody thought, you know, this team was down and everything, but, you know, we just worked hard, and we came short to the state championship, but, you know, they're, they're a pretty good team, man. And can't get no better. Talk about Ohio State. Ohio State, uh, I will be going there next year, and, uh, you know, I just got to work the whole season you said three, things four, didn't get any better, but you're going to Ohio State next year. Yeah, Ohio uh, uh, State, I'm, I'm ready for it, but man, <laughs> this team right here, man, it's just like, I mean, this whole team is just like my brothers, man. We've been talking about this since like freshman year, and you know, we came here, we came up short. I mean, Sammy, yes, they're a pretty good team, and, you know, it's all right. Talk about Urban Meyer real quick. Uh, having Urban Meyer as a coach, I mean, that, that's, a, that's a good ass. Uh, that's a pretty good. <laughs> and, uh, you know, next year, I mean, I know he'll put up points and, you know, bring in the right guys, and, you know, I'm really pumped. Has he called you yet? Uh, my phone's off right now, but I think they left a voicemail. They left a voicemail? Yeah, he, uh, uh, friend request me on Facebook. But I haven't really talked to him as much. Last time we talked, we were talking that Fickle told you you are going to be a wide receiver. Yeah. Well, things have changed in that you have a different coach. Has he talked to you at all about what you're going to be doing? Uh, yeah, punt return, kick return, receiver. Wow. Yeah. Good man. That's right, happy too.